What's up guys? I hope everybody is good. I am great. We're gonna talk about something that I love to talk about, and that's my nutsack. That's right, the nutsack commander right here. You know I gotta shoot a joke in there, you guys. I couldn't, I can't do a nutsack video without doing a nutsack joke. I mean, shame on me, whatever, right? This is the nutsack commander. I love it, all right? That we're not gonna wait until the middle of the review to talk about how much I love this thing. Yes, Nutsack did send this out to me. Thank you and shout out to them. I know I don't wanna gush too much because they can be like, oh, this guy's bought and paid for. Bruh, this is nice. This is nice. Everything that I've used from Nutsack has been great. Yeah, everything that I've used from Nutsack has been great. I, I really don't have too many complaints about their gear. Uh, it's always high quality. It's always premium. You know I love wax canvas. Let's get into some size comparisons. Why not? All right. I'm going to roll in a couple of the EDC uh, pouches that I usually use and the ones that I really love because I think it needs to go up against something that, you know, hey, let's bring in the strongest competition. All right. Here it is against the Garage Built Gear Mightier pouch that mightier means it's a little bit bigger now you can see the size comparison here yeah this is the commander is a big pouch it's five and a half by seven by two i, I just gave you the specs I, I know there's some people that don't like specs like i can read that on the website yeah i understand you can read it on the website i'm gonna give it to you anyway so yeah it's definitely bigger than the mightier the mightier pouch right here so this is like yeah, you got a lot of EDC stuff that you want to organize and, you know, keep safe in here. So, that bigger than that. All right, what's another one that we can pull in here? I have two of those Mightier pouches. You, you know I love them if I got two of them. Here's another one that I really like, right? Alpaca. This is the admin um, pouch right here. I like these larger pouches so I can fit my stuff inside of them right because if you get the tiny ones like this this little uh this one is from uh alpaca gear as well what what are you fitting in this what exactly are you going to put inside this little pouch i don't even know if a full-size knife can fit in this little pouch i what do they call this the hub pouch uh alpaca gear i mean bring back the admin pouch do me a favor all right so here's another one that i really like this is the uh, Bellroy, if I want to get fancy, the Bellroy Compact Tech Case. Yeah, so it's definitely um, bigger than that as well. So I'm trying to give you like an idea of what you're getting yourself into with the Commander over here. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. Let's try to do the last one. We'll, we'll actually bring in another nutsack right here. This is the double admin pouch right here. So definitely but even um, the, the, the admin pouch, what am I saying? That the double admin pouch is larger. This one is the leather one. Yes, I have loved using this over the last couple of years. Check the overview of this. It's nice. Let me open this one up so you can get a better idea of what you're getting yourself into with this one. Love the organization. Nice, huge pockets in the inside. Mm. Nice little elastic bands. It even has a place in the back where you can connect it. But this video is not about this one. I've already done a whole separate review and I'll add a card up in the up in the corner right here so you can check that video review out. But this one is excellent as well. Just a size comparison. Now, the Commander. So, you got the acorn on the, on the outside. I think they stopped doing the nutsack on the outside of their stuff. You know, uh, I guess this is more... I guess it's more appropriate. You know, on, on this um, pouch right here, you have this heavy duty 18 ounce wax canvas. I love it. And you can repair it yourself with a little bit of wax. You just like, if the wax starts to wear down, you, you rub it down, take a heat gun to it. You got a large pocket on the outside, super large pocket. You can actually fit a good amount of stuff in here. That's what I'm talking about. Now on the back, you have some Molly or some Powell's webbing on the back. Uh, I don't usually use that too much. To be totally honest, I would have been, I could take it or leave it. I'm glad they added it, but mm, I don't usually attach this to the outside of anything, like another larger wax canvas pack or anything like that. 
I guess you could run like a knife or something like that. But there's a lot of space in here, man. So I don't know if you're carrying that much stuff. You got to hook some stuff to the outside too. Hmm. Maybe the only thing I could think of that you might want to hook to the outside of this is maybe like a little light so you can look in your pack and know where this thing is because it's going to have all your essentials in it, right? You got YKK zips on the outside of this thing. They work really, really well. Only thing that I could say that could improve it, maybe a brass zipper on this stuff. I think this is quality enough enough that a brass zipper would be appropriate but for right now we have smaller ykk they're like a number six got some nice leather pulls on them the leather on this stuff is excellent as you can see this is excellent it's got a great patina on the double admin so i think it's the same same type of leather so oh yeah so let's get into this thing i mean i don't like to waste any time like let, let's get into it why not let's, let's do it right unzip this thing lay it open yes yes we have organization for days let's start over here right large bands over here and i got my edc stuff over off camera over here we're gonna load this up so large bands i'm just gonna walk you through it real quick and then we're gonna load my edc in this thing right large bands right here you got a place right here where you can slide in like a notebook or something flat and you also have a pocket here a large pocket in the back you got two double loops I love this like interior material. It's a like, nice canvas material. In here, another large pocket, another large pocket, maybe a pen size pocket, another large pocket. You got some Molly slash Powell's webbing here where you can clip in some stuff. And then you have another large pocket back here in the back. So what all can it take? I see it's got organization for days. Let's load it up, why not? Since I'm on my premium nuts, let's talk about the price right now because we're not hiding anything, right? <laughs> We're not hiding anything. Double admin pouch, get out of here. It's, it's not your time. We'll move you over, okay? So, the price. 119 for this. Is it expensive? Yes, it is. Will it last you a lifetime? Yes, it will. Is it quality? Yes, it is. Will you find another pouch as quality as this in wax canvas? I have it. And I look all the time. I'm on the internet all the time looking at gear and I can't find anything as nice as this one. So if there is another pouch out there that is nice as this one, please let me know. Please let me know because uh, I love wax canvas and leather pouches. This is the nicest one I have put my two hands on yet. All right, so since we're on some bougie shit, let's go ahead and put a bougie ass knife in there. Like the Chris Reeve Sabenza with the, uh, with the inlaid scales, something like one of the most expensive knives in my collection to be totally transparent. We'll put that over there. And then this is a uh, Sharpie that I found. This is the Pro. The Pro Sharpies are amazing. They write on everything and they don't rub off. We'll put that over here. Why not? Well, you know what? We'll put it in the pen slot. We'll put it in the pen slot where it's supposed to go. So you can see how that works. Yeah, like that goes in there just like that. What about battery needs? Totally bougie. We're doing this thing. This video should be called totally bougie. So Nightcore NU 10,000. Well, this is the Carbo. You know what? This is the Carbo. So Nightcore Carbo right there, 10,000 milliamps. Let's slide that in the back. Little zip, Zippo lighter. And I got the insert in it. So you can light it. Yes, sir. Every time, take the little, you know, like the, the fluid. The fluid for grandpa, I don't, I don't do the fluid. I do the inserts. Brass little flashlight I got from County Com. Yeah, they got they have some nice little bougie flashlights. Let's, let's stick that in there, why not, all right? Right next to the bougie knife. And then we'll take our bougie brass pen. Everything's bougie now, right? We'll take our brass pen. This is, has some weight to it. I forgot what, who, I, who I got this to. I forced a patina on this brass pen. It still works really, really well. I like it. So it's got some weight to it, like I said. We'll slide that in there in the other pin slot. So that's in there. Since we're doing bougie, bougie EDC would not be complete without the Leatherman art because it's got the Magna Cut blade and the magnets and the clip and the this and the that. It's awesome. It's expensive. I haven't found a better Leatherman yet. I wish I could find a Leatherman that was like, a hundred dollars and had all of those features that way i could save some money the the nice rolling square this this video is definitely going to be called 
of the Bougie EDC. The Rolling Square uh, 6-in-1 cable. Will that fit down in there? Yeah, it fits down in there. All right, what else do we have? We have the bit kit for the Leatherman Arc. So we should put that in there because so we won't we want to be prepared. We can, can we put that over there? Yeah, we can. And then I got a little, you know, stand for your cell phone. I like to keep that around. I think that little guy. Stick that little guy over there. Yeah, we're getting this thing pretty loaded up. What else do we have? All right. We have a word notebook. You know, a word notebook. We'll stick this guy in the back right there. Yeah. This is a nice little EDC kit we got going on, guys. This is uh, one of those uh, koala claws. Uh, you know, wipe down your glasses or your screens. Maybe we'll just stick that in the back right here. How about that? That will fit there. And I like to have a measuring device because I will, you know, always use my measuring device. <laughs> so, no, I actually do use this from time to time when I'm like, I got to find out how big this pouch is or some odd thing. And I wish I had a ruler, so I always carry a ruler with me. I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. Whatever. Call me what you will. But I think I'm, you know, I got a nice little EDC kit going on, guys. So, uh, I'm off the Hanks, right? I could pull, like, uh, like a, a super bougie Hank out and be like, oh, I use this all the time, guys. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I like microfiber cloths. So I have some, I got a, like a set of like a hundred microfiber cloths for like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something like that on Amazon. When they get dirty, I wash them. And this is a new one because I had a pack of a hundred. So that's not the bougiest thing ever. But yeah, I'm just going to lay that in there. And I think I could fit more stuff in here if I wanted to. I really, really could. Everything zips up. It's nice. Again, I don't, I don't know what I would do with, with that stuff in the back, but the pouch on the front, this is, this is extremely nice. I like this. It's, it's over the top, kind of bougie, but hmm, it's just something about the feel of this, right? It just feels just premium. Like I'm, I mean, I, I'm connecting with this as I'm sitting here. This is a nice pouch. I mean, that sack never lets me down. I, I like it. I want to put like my more expensive stuff in it and, and you know, kind of carry it with me. And then of course I got to, you know, if I've got a nice, you know, high quality, high expensive uh, pouch, you know, I got to put it in An expensive bag, baby. This right here, check my reviews of this. This is uh, the Filson Journeyman. I did a review on the Filson Journeyman, but this is the all-weather version. It only was out for a couple of years. I think you can buy them on eBay. They're like one or two. They're like $1,300. Like, even when they came out, they were like 900 bucks. So this is like one of my most expensive bags right here. I love it. The leather on this, forget about it. <laughs> it's super nice. All right, so this goes in here easily. Now I got, you know, all my little EDC stuff and I can put my work stuff in the inside. But yeah, so the Commander. Is it, is, do you want to spend $119 on the Commander? Is the question. I'm sure everybody's going to say no. Right? No one wants to spend a hundred bucks, hundred bucks on an EDC pouch. But will you find one as nice as this? I doubt it. This is a really nice pouch. The, um, Nutsack did an excellent job. I like the size. I thought I wasn't gonna like the size because I'm usually like I'm usually in this size range, right? For my my like EDC pouches. But this this gives me a little bit more space and it's not too big like it's not the double admin pouch where it's kind of like eh, it's getting on that line of just too big this is a perfect size this this is a perfect size to throw in a bag you don't want to put this in your pocket that's just what it is guys if you love this video hit the thumbs up button <laughs> if you loved it that much subscribe come on back i got way more gear to talk about right way more and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace. Thanks, Nutsack.